the done, and all these crews are off to the races. Some clean cuts going in with those oars, uh, Gord. Uh, really, uh, some great starts here. Look at the Outer Club crew, though. They're just ready to put the power right now. They're going for it, and the position, the precision of that catch that I'm looking at there now is an absolute joy to watch. Uh, I guess we can touch on this now. The crews are heading up towards the boathouse, and as they make their way into distance, I see something on the back of the uh, the Outer Cove jerseys. Do you want to mention what that's all about there? Absolutely. As we're, we're looking at the crews here now, we see Mark Hayward with the number 10 on his back. And uh, when I talked about earlier that those boys are rolling with a lot of heart out there tonight, um, if you turn to page 39 of the program, you're going to see a fine gentleman's name named uh, Ron, uh, Ronald Cadigan. And uh, unfortunately, uh, back in June, um, Ron uh, passed away. That would be James and Dan's father. And uh, all the guys who were in the town, they're, they're back of their shirt there tonight. And uh, Mark has it on the back of the shirt. Yeah, and I know that they're rolling a lot hard, as you mentioned. And and you know that Ron is here with them tonight. They're going to put on a, a quite the impressive run if, it, if this morning is any indication. This crew is a phenomenal crew to watch, Brian. It must be in your vantage point now. How's it looking out there? Yeah, you mentioned Ron Cadigan, a super nice guy. And, oh, what a hockey player he was. Senior hockey player in the Avalon East League. Uh, different time, different era, different situation, you know. He might have uh, gone on, in, in terms of hockey, he might have uh, gone on to... Uh, you know, the higher league level, I think he would have. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Outer Cove is, you know, rolling to do something special here. Uh, they did a 904-28 this morning. Uh, in the first uh, race last year, they were just under nine minutes. So uh, this is, uh, they're looking pretty good right now as they head into the turn. Uh, but it is a lot closer than this morning. This morning was kind of, they were... My gosh, they were miles ahead of everybody. They're not miles ahead of everybody right now because uh, you have uh, Smith Stockley, who was a distant second this morning. As it looks right now, I'd say they're going to be a fairly close second. Uh, Kerry Hodder, they still have a long ways to go, uh, you know, before they hit the uh, men's boys. But it looks to be closer than it was this morning. It is definitely closer than it was this morning. Right now, we've got Outer Cove about a boat length in front of Smith Stockley. Smith Stockley is about two boat lengths ahead of Lamb's Rum. Lamb's Rum is about uh, two boat lengths against, up against NTV or ahead of NTV. And then Carol Investments is in behind. So it's the same as the females race. It takes one, two, three, four, and five. That is their positions right now as they're about just over a quarter of the way through this race. They're making their way up to the buoys, of course. And uh, those turns are always so very important, but Outer Cove is doing just fantastic. I wonder if they're going to break a record this evening. And if they do, will it be their own record that they're breaking? Different crew. Um, the only two members of the crew that were on that record-breaking crew would be Brent Tickey and uh, James Cadigan, so completely different crew, different sponsor, um, but you know, yeah, so I'm going to say no, it's not, it's a different Okay, one. so yeah, yeah, same sponsor, but not the same exact crew, but uh, you know, they're doing really well out there, of course, they are just making their way up to the top of the pond, where well, the guys will make that turn, and still exactly as their stakes, one, two, three, four, and five, that's their places as they're heading up the pond here at Kitty Bitty Lake. It's a beautiful evening, a lot of people excited, everyone down on this end of the pond is on their feet. That little patio deck that uh, is just down from the beer tent is blocked and everybody is watching with lots of excitement to see what happens here in this men's race. It's way more exciting when it is closer, of course, than it was this morning as well. This is going to be closer than that race was this morning. Outer Coast did a great time, 9.04, and Smith Stockley Rowan Club was at 9.43. Uh, on the clock here now, Brian, and watch these boats come back in. They're still rolling strong. Well, Brian, you just mentioned that these crews are going to kind of finish out of the at 1 through 5, just like the female championship race at 6.30, the same thing here. We're looking at a good finish here for Outer Cove. They're making their way into the final two strides that they'll have to make to take this championship. There's no doubt about it that they will take this championship. What time will they end it? It's going to be the main question. Outer Cove and take one with the big lead. Of course, 
wearing that number 10 on the back. I know that Ron is looking down on that crew today and smiling on them. That's why the sky is probably clear here today. Of course, absolutely. Uh, it's all about the and uh,